The Marquetta Stadium generally delivers a super speedway meeting. And uh, although it's been slightly compromised by track conditions tonight, still nonetheless, we have uh, enjoyed a uh, terrific night of speedway. The rain hasn't returned. It was at one point going to come back at eight o'clock. Fortunately, that hasn't been the case, but uh, they haven't uh, they haven't got complacent tonight, and I'm pleased about that because yeah, kept it the last on. thing would be, the worst thing would have okay, been guys, to have taken your go. foot off the gas and then the rain come back in and spoil the end of the meeting. Yeah, of course, a result can be called after 16 heats, but nobody wants to see that. We no. want it to come down to this, the big final at the end of the night. Indeed we do. So here they come for the final time this evening. The four that have made it through to the final. We've got uh, a rider on a warning here, which is Martin Vasilik. Can he make it a hat trick? Wow. Only two other riders have actually done that. Pedersen's won here three times, but he didn't do it three years consecutive. 07, 08, 12, 2012 for him. And 13, 14, 15 for Wolfenden. I think Jason Crump, what was it, 3, 4, 5 or 2, 3, 4? Yeah, two, three, it was. Four. I think it was 02, yeah. 0, 03, 0, 04. I think you're right there. Fantastic form from Jason Crump. Line up for the final, Freddie Lingren off the inside in red. Martin Vasilik, gate number two in blue. Dominic Kubera, gate number three in white. And Bartosz Smarslik looking for his first win of the year in the Grand Prix off the outside in yellow. Had the second pick, could have gone for gate one, chose not to. Concerned about the starting ability of Martin Vasilik. No doubt about that, mm -hmm. that was uppermost in his thoughts. So, Kel, I've got to ask you, who are you going for? Martin Vasilik. OK. I think Can't he's the man to beat. <laughs> OK, well, if you've gone for Martin Vasilik, I'm going to go for Bartosz Marslik. Gate four, options, but doesn't have a lot of speed in the bike, I don't Dominic think. Dominic Cabrera will come out of nowhere and win it. There we Very go. possibly. Freddie Lingren, done well. He Very need, well. To and he turn. needs a win. He does. He does indeed. The last two rounds have been not to his normal standard. Missed the final in Warsaw. Had a dreadful meeting two weeks ago in Germany. Here we go, final time in the Marquetta. Tapes up, and we're away. Martin Vasilik's made a smashing start. Yes, he's got there. But Bartosz Marslik's in traffic. He's trying to get up the inside. It's time. It. Oh, he's got himself into second place. He had to hustle that. Kubera didn't want to get out of the way, but Bartosz Marslik was desperate to get there. But Martin Vasilik. Can he make it a hat-trick? Oh, he's riding superbly. He certainly deserves it. Lingren now putting Smarzik under pressure. We've said all night, Smarzik not really fast on the bike tonight, but I'll tell you what, Martin Vasilik looking every bit the winner there. Bike working for Smarzik just doesn't have the pace that Martin Vasilik's got out from. Freddie Lingren looking very threatening, coming round the outside of Bartosz Smarzik. Oh, he's done him down the back straight. What a moment for Freddie Lingren. As you rightly say, Smarzik hasn't got the speed. He's relegated back to third place, but out in front. This is going to be extra special now. Martin Vasilik, oh, it's tied for second and third. <laughs> but Martin Vasilik, through the final corner, a hat-trick of wins in the Marquetta. He's going to be absolutely overjoyed with that. What a performance in the last three years here for Martin Vasilik. Back to top form. He won here last year. He won in the Principality as well in Cardiff. And Martin Vasilik wins in 2024 in the Marquetta Stadium. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Fully deserved. Definitely the quickest rider throughout the entire evening. He really has deserved his victory tonight. Martin Vasilik wins the final. He's won here for the last three years. Unbelievable stuff. Superb. Freddie Lingren, what a strong ride from him. Bartosz Smarzlik slipping back into third place. Dominic Cabrera finishes in fourth. Finished in fourth in the last two Grand Prix. Solid form from Kubera. But for that man, this is a special moment. He uh, holds this place close. He was here as a boy, standing on the terraces, watching the action. He's grown up just down the road, effectively. Mm. Doesn't have a Grand Prix in Slovakia, so this is effectively his home race means so much to him. You it can just does. see in his eyes what it means it to him. Does. It's absolutely fabulous for him. It's lovely, isn't it? It yeah. really is quite an uh, emotional win for him. It is. Um, and it, it, who's to say he's not going to make it four next year? He's absolutely superb around this place. He really is. But Bartosz Marslik, well, he makes it three podiums out of four this year, four finals out of four. 
just keeps going, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got to find a bit more speed if he, he wants has. to win one, but he's hustling that bike so far. He'll have a healthy lead in the championship. I haven't crunched the numbers, but we'll bring that to you. It's getting a lot as closer. Soon as, we have, uh, as soon as we have them. But for Martin Vasilic, this is a huge moment. Let's watch it again. A little bit of movement from Cabrera there. Yeah, there was. You know, he's coming off gate three. You know, even though he's had a race win, he knows it's the toughest one. Perfectly times there for uh, Smarslik to, to uh, time that cutback. Gets himself in a second place there as uh, Martin Vasilic just comes away from the fence down to the inside. But once the race settles down after the first lap, Martin Vasilic just pulls away, pulls away, pulls away. Freddie Lindgren, of course, now gives chase to Smarslik. But what a night for Martin Vasilic, that man out front. Just looks superb all evening. Look, he stretched that lead, and now Freddie Lindgren puts his attention to the outside, gets the bike hooked up really, really well. And a second place will do his confidence the world of good. Won the uh, Swedish final during the week on Tuesday in Vestavik, and now a podium in the Marquetta Stadium. Yeah, he looked actually really fast in the semi-final against Marsley, but kind of just held station, didn't he? he? Did, but there, yeah. just uh, threw the uh, kitchen sink at him and had the pace to get the better of the championship leader, the world champion. But uh, Smarslik, who uh, picks up 16 points for his third place tonight, moves on to 66 and uh, won't be too disappointed with the way it's worked out because uh, the riders right behind him are not that close to him in the championship. So his lead in the championship will be extended significantly. That man, though, to win here three times on the bounce, to win anywhere three times on the bounce is very impressive, but when you consider it's his home Grand Prix, fantastic. So uh, there's the points allocated for tonight's round with Vasilik 20 points for the win, Lingren 18, 16 for Smarslik and Kubera on 14. Solid form from Kubera, two finals in two consecutive Grand Prix. He's going along very nicely. Um, but uh, for Martin Vasilik, he has uh, going to steal all the uh, headlines here. As I say, he's had a indifferent... Sixty-six points for the uh, world champion. Fifty-four points for Jack Holder, hanging on to second place. Robert Lambert into third place on fifty-three. Doyle on forty-seven. Martin Vasilik on forty-seven. Likewise, Mickelson on uh, forty-seven as well. Three of them. Forty-four for Lingren. That's a step in the right direction. And Kubera in the top eight on thirty-nine, and then a gap down to Dan Bewley on thirty-three. Just shows you what a win can do. All of a sudden into fifth place, just six points away from third place. World number two, of course, uh, world number three, of course, last year, Martin Vasilik.